Guys, I'm just gonna come out and say it. Esports is filled with some absolute units. From Roadhog to Birdie, Gragas to Winston, I am simply in awe of these thick and pumped esports lads. That's why today we're giving you the best of the biggest by ranking the top 10 plays from esports' thickest characters. Let's get into it. We had to start this list off with a big lad showing he can stay quick on his feet. During the 2014 NALCS Summer Split, CLG Seraph was stalking his prey in the jungle, looking to make quick work of LMQ's Gragas. Well, this big lad was having none of it. There was CLG. Oh my uh -oh. word. Oh my word, no way! What a play! Ackerman just completely outplays Seraph! After taking a few spears, the Gragas turns the fight around and belly slams Seraph back into his tower to complete the outplay. Coming in at number 9 on our list is an epic comeback moment from Tekken's large robotic boy, Jack7. It really felt like we were looking at a bracket reset at NorCal Regionals 2018 as Kudan's Devil Jin had Saints Jack7 on the ropes. But the biggest boy on our list decided that he would not go down easily. Pokey time. Side roll. Oh, big win! Oh, jackhammers! 20 seconds left now. I can't Saint do this. this comeback. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, reverse it! Reverse. He reversed it! He's not going down! He can't get me! What a low oh, 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 parry! And that's it! Oh, 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 my God! That's gonna do it! Wow! Man, G Corporation really builds their boys thick, don't they? There may not be a thicker lad in League of Legends than Tom Kench, which is why this Kench play from Worlds 2018 has to come in at number 8 on our list. During the tournament's play in stage, G2 Esports Wadid showed us why benching the Kench is a bad move by saving his mid laner not once, but twice. once again saving the day with the Tom Kench ultimate. You gotta love the use of that interaction. Sure, this champion might be larger than most, but that just means he's got a bigger heart. Coming in at number 7, we've got one of the most Chungus-like characters around. That's right, we're talking about Roadhog. During the Overwatch League's first two years, the world's best players have showed us just how quick this big boy can be in the right hands. So let's take a moment to appreciate some of the best hooks that this thick tank has landed. Yeah, so now obviously hook 2.0 means that features like that, the hook does thing more them and pull you around or over them. So Poco was able to keep himself alive. Not so lucky this time though. He will be desuited and Fraggy takes his opportunity now to start the fight. They're trying to circumvent the barrier of Mano and get into the back line. We can see Savio, he's not concerned. He's gonna go to work on the back line of the fusion and the hook connects three from three for this man. Straight out the park. And AQO eats a scrap gun shot from long range. Nubis, when we went over to Numbani though, Dallas looking really strong at the start here. They stopped Fusion from fully capping against the wall. That they actually managed to pull ahead here, Gladiators. It's just another great use of exploiting. Oh, Max Rage Hook would keep out of this fight. They need to start working together as a team, but that takes time. And I think that the fans of the Dallas Duel, they need some patience because this is not going Fighting to be. They got staggered. They tried to push in. It wasn't working. It's a minute of fail. Yeah, it really was. And then coming into Junkie Town, Florida Mayhem have looked reasonable. From a set of impressive hooks to one that is a little more exploitative, our number six play comes courtesy of Dota 2's thickest hero, Pudge. And if you haven't guessed it already, we're talking about Natus Vincere's famed fountain hook strategy from TI3. They're not done. Mech still hasn't even been used. There's a hook! How? Brought all the way back to the base! Cleaned up by the fountain! We actually just saw the Chen Pudge combo at the International. That happened. For the uninitiated, this quasi wombo combo sees Pudge hook an enemy just as Chen's test of fate is counting down, which resulted in some poor soul getting hooked all the way back to the fountain where they would be greeted by instant death. He got him! One more! This is what you call one for the road! 
Seriously, this shit is broken as fuck. I think it's safe to say that Overwatch is a game built around big boys. After all, the tanks like Reinhardt and Winston have been the linchpins of competitive play since the game's release. So at number 5, we hearken back to one of the world's most aggressive Reinhardt players. Vancouver Titans Bumper. Now, most of the thick characters we have on this list give off a sort of bull in a china shop kind of vibe, but against the Shanghai Dragons, Bumper shows us that big boys can be just as sneaky as their scrawny really counterparts. Like almost 30 here, because you gotta get reset. Bumper's Bumper away. sinking in from the back, the shatter comes down! Good night, Huxel follows up Gip Skamsu. This guy has been doing this for ages, and still, people don't look both ways. Coming in at number four is a thick boy known for his massive dunks. No, we're not talking about Shaq, we're talking about one of the Rift's biggest lads, the Hand of Noxus, Darius. And few plays in League of Legends history better exemplify the beauty and carnage of a Darius dunk than this world's 2015 group stage play, courtesy of Balls. C9 controlled mid. Both sideways pushing for C9 too. They have that tower behind them for safety. Now they're sieging mid, so they're using triple pressure on all the lanes. Oh, Might be see careful. An Here's the jump in. It's a two man ult. He catches Balls. Sneaky is out. There's a turret alive that they gotta be careful. A big knockback, and that's the kill into Morgana. Azir goes down as well, but the dunks are coming through. A double kill for Balls. A triple kill for that's Alive. And what an aggressive use of flash ulti there for Incarnation. He knew he would drop in the fight, but he would generate so much damage for resets on both Sneaky oh, and Balls. At number three, we've got yet another example of a massive character proving that big guys have a lot of stamina. Against the LA Valiant, Fisher's Winston sees two enemies floating high off the map and out of range of the vertically challenged. But instead of simply avoiding the rockets, he decides to take matters Absolutely into his own hands. You had Fate and Fall here for the Valiant. A few kills here going in favor of the Gladiators. Another hack trying to come through from Hydration onto Agility. So you know how devastating the hack is now. This Fisher is just like, get him, son! The map, he oh no, he's gone! Leave. He's got another jump. He gets knocked back. Barrage in. This is a bit ballsy. Fisher oh, breaks him down! No oh, one even like Fisher! Nobody's more handsome! That is so filthy. No is more handsome and handsy when it comes to the Primal Rage, dude. That's so filthy. After jumping off the map, Fissure pops Primal Rage to gain an extra jump and then proceeds to maul both Farah and Mercy down from mid-air before leaping back to safety just as his Primal runs out. Now that's a big boy play if we've ever seen one. Taking the runner-up spot on our list is none other than Rang Chu's unbelievable run with one of Tekken's worst and also biggest characters, Panda. Panda. <laughs> really? Now, I'd be remiss to mention that Panda proves that it's not only big boys that can rise to the top of the esports world, but big gals as well. With the entire community doubting him, Rang Chu not only played the off-meta character at the 2018 Tekken World Championship, but won the whole damn thing with his trusty bear. Going for the hell soup, especially by the wall. Is he gonna oh, go for it again? Oh my oh god, my he gosh. does! Rang Chu, content to wait. He's yeah. waiting. He could just stand and block. He doesn't yeah. want to take too many risks. He has a two-round lead. The only thing that's gonna kill him is the hell sweep. And that's the thing. All he has to do is tap down back. And he could end Kudans' tournament. Oh, man, look at this. Kudans has hardly any life left. Oh, it's guaranteed. Last hit, Bear Champion. Oh, oh he got him. It's Follow not up. over. 15 seconds. Oh, he hit. Heaven's Gate. The ball. other no. side. Be careful. If one more, he can end oh. it here. Kudans. Oh, so no, I'm the punish. We in fact, Rang Chu's title win with Panda was so monumental, we made an entire video about it. Sitting atop our list is the single most lucrative thick play of all time. A play so massive that it turned a team of Dota 2 players into overnight millionaires. Of course, we're talking about THE $6 million Echo Slam, courtesy of one of Dota 2's thickest boys, Earthshaker. 
Evil Geniuses were considered to be one of the best Dota 2 teams in the world heading into TI5, but standing in their way in the finals were CDEC Gaming, a team that had already beat them earlier in the upper bracket final. With EG up 2-1 in the series, CDEC were forced to rush Roshan to try to turn the tide of Game 4. And once four members of CDEC were nicely packed into the Rosh pit, well, we all know what happens next. There is no hook shot. They're all together. PPD, here comes the Ice Blast, ready for the dunk! And from the universe, it's a disaster! CDEC, they're gonna get wiped from the face of the earth, apart from aggressive, he'll jump out! The only alternative is that CDC move toward the Rose Pit and they actually don't go for it, baiting, expecting that EG want to check it 4 and 5, which would be very unlikely. And then just going for it instead, they just get being clumped up, get completely obliterated by the Echo Slime Mines Blast. Well guys, there you have it. From a gorilla in space to a giant robot man with a mohawk, those are the best plays from eSports' thickest characters. Now, is there a large lad making plays out there that you think we missed in our list? Let us know in the comments below. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that sub button and making our subscriber count just that much more thick, I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring that notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages.